Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Elizabeth stitch, which is this stitch that you see here in front of you. Uh, it creates a very textured fabric, as you can see here, and it's unique in its sort of crisscross diagonal appearance that, um, that you see. It is a double-sided stitch. So it looks the same on the front as it does in the back. It can be worked in a variety of projects from uh, accessories that you would wear to accessories for around the home, such as blankets and, and uh, washcloths and that kind of thing. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, I like to update it weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Grab a hook and some yarn and let's get started. So for the stitch today, you are going to start by making a foundation chain and your foundation chain, the multiple is going to be an even number of stitches plus four. So a multiple of two plus four stitches. Today my swatch will be a total of 20 chains. There's five, ten, 15 and 20. So once you have your chain, your desired length, you're going to start by working your first Elizabeth stitch, which is similar to a puff stitch with a slight variation. You're going to work your first Elizabeth stitch in the fourth chain from your hook. So from your hook count in four, one, two, three, four, and that's where you're going to work your first stitch. To work the Elizabeth stitch, you're going to start by inserting your hook into that fourth chain. You're going to yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, and drop a loop. You will now have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. You'll be left with one and you're going to chain one. That's all there is to the Elizabeth stitch. Next, you're going to skip the next chain and work your next Elizabeth stitch in the following chain. So insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, and drop a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, draw your yarn through all four loops, and chain one. That's your second Elizabeth stitch completed. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next chain. In the next chain, work one Elizabeth stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, and drop a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, and drop another loop. Once you have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and chain one. Continue to work that all the way across your chain. Skip one, then work an Elizabeth stitch. Skip one, work an Elizabeth stitch. When you come to your final chain, you will work your final Elizabeth stitch in that chain. I'm now just working my final Elizabeth stitch in my final chain. I'm pulling through all four loops. I'm chaining one. And then uh, you are going to chain two. So you'll have a total of three chains at the end and turn your work. Now, if you take a look at the row that you've just completed, you will see that you have these uh, little puff stitches all lined up there in a row. For row two, we're going to continue working our Elizabeth stitches. The first Elizabeth stitch is actually going to be worked at the base of your turning chain in the top of the Elizabeth stitch down below. So you'll see that you have 
uh, these two V's here at the top of your work. Well, if you look under that first V, they'll be and pull it apart. Maybe if your stitches are tight, you'll see a little opening. That's where you're going to insert your hook, not under the chain one, but in the top of the Elizabeth stitch down below. So you're going to insert your hook and draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook in the, under the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. With four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through all four, and chain one. That's the first Elizabeth stitch. Your next Elizabeth stitch will be worked in the top of the one below, of the next one below. So here's your next Elizabeth stitch here. If you pull it apart, you see that first, that V there. You're going to insert your hook under the top of that stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and chain one. Find your next one. So on the top of your next Elizabeth stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, complete your next stitch, and chain one. You're going to continue that all the way across. When you come to your final Elizabeth stitch, you will work your final stitch into the chain three, the beginning turning chain three. I'm coming up on my last and final stitch, my chain one. So I find my turning chain three right here, insert my hook, and that's where I work my final Elizabeth stitch. And that's always going to be the case for each and every row. You complete your stitch by chaining one, and then chain two more for your turning chain. Turn your work, and you can begin row three. Row three is worked exactly the same as row two. So now for the rest of this pattern, you're just completing what you did in row two. In the top of the Elizabeth stitch down below, you're going to insert your hook and work your first stitch. Chain one, move to the next Elizabeth stitch, insert your hook in the top of that stitch, work your next stitch, next Elizabeth stitch. And again, all the way across. Remember when you come back to your beginning turning chain, your turning three chain, you're going to work your final stitch under that turning chain. As you can see, um, once you get going, it's a fairly quick stitch to work. It's quite simple, but one that has some amazing results and is quite versatile. Coming to my final Elizabeth stitch here under that chain three, I'll work my final stitch. And with your chain one and then chain two more for your turning chain. And that's all there is to working the Elizabeth stitch. Thank you so much for joining me on this stitch tutorial on how to crochet the Elizabeth stitch. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you until next time. Happy crocheting. Bye.